superheroes may rely on supervillains for action and drama, seeing their powers turned against them or pushed to their limits. But you don't need heat vision or super strength to be truly terrifying. Sometimes all it takes is a criminal blessed with determination and an opponent pushing them to their true potential. Here are Screen Rant's 10 most dangerous comic book criminals. The Joker. No one knows his story, his motivations, or his endgame, but everyone knows his name. Joker. And he's going to make some art, darling. Over the years, Batman's arch nemesis has been portrayed as a serial killer, a crime boss, a madman, and an agent of chaos in nearly every form of entertainment. Every fan may have their favorite, but the Joker is so fragmented and crazed, it's impossible to even call one version of him more faithful than any other. Without any superpower, super weapon, or even backup, Joker's calculated mayhem hasn't just made him a comic book icon, but one of the most complicated and terrifying villains in history. Not bad for a guy with nothing but a knife, a pistol, and a plan. Kingpin. He may not be much to look at, but Wilson Fisk has proven to be not only one of the most brilliant and ruthless crime bosses the comic book world has ever seen, but a physical threat capable of fighting some of Marvel's most impressive heroes. Fisk was bullied in his childhood because of his weight, so he hit the gym, turned his former bullies into henchmen, and began his rise to the top of Hell's Kitchen's underworld. He let his fists and his wits do the talking, eventually becoming the kingpin of crime. Don't be fooled by his lack of a gun or club, the kingpin prefers to kill with his bare hands and whatever furniture is nearby. He may not be a supervillain, but a man with his talents for organized crime who can beat Daredevil and Spider-Man in a fight deserves more credit than he's usually given. Killer Croc Waylon Jones was an outcast, bullied by schoolmates and abused and abandoned by an alcoholic aunt, all because of a rare genetic condition he was born with that caused his skin to grow hard and scaly like a reptile. As he grew bigger and badder, a job wrestling alligators for the circus seemed like a waste of his talents. Waylon knew how to be tough and knew a life of crime was his destiny. Taking the name Killer Croc, he set out to organize and rule the criminals of Gotham City, proving a serious player even without his bulletproof skin and super strength. He would do battle with Batman too many times to count, but what he lacked in brains he made up for in brutality. Did we mention he's also a cannibal? The Darkness As one of the few comic criminals who is neither good nor evil, Jackie Estacado began his life as an orphan, adopted into the Franchetti crime family at the tender age of six. Making his first kill at the age of 16, Jackie would become the family's most skilled and ruthless hitman, doing more than just killing his targets to send a message. But on his 21st birthday, he learned that his induction into the Mafia was no coincidence. He was the latest in a long line of men entrusted with the darkness, an ancient force granting its host nearly limitless power. In the hands of Jackie, the power to create any weapon or creature was a perfect fit. All he had to do was stay in the shadows. He began seeking vengeance on all who had wronged him in the past. With the power to take on Superman himself, Jackie took over the crime family with ease, putting his skills learned on the streets to work taking over an entire country. The Riddler Unlike most criminal masterminds, the Prince of Puzzlers can't resist telling the absolute truth. But his need to prove he's the smartest person in the room means the Riddler can't do anything in a simple way. His green costume and obsession with riddles and brain teasers made Edward Nigma a bit of a joke to mainstream audiences. But comic fans have seen him develop into a twisted, terrifying, and truly dangerous criminal over the years. The well-known Hush storyline saw Riddler pulling the strings behind every single Batman villain as part of his plan to bring down Bruce Wayne once and for all. More recently, Batman Year Zero saw Riddler take complete control over Gotham, turning the city to ruins until a citizen could solve his riddles. Puzzles aren't too scary, but in the hands of the Riddler, they can be fatal. Carnage Spider-Man knew that the alien symbiote behind his black suit was bad news, and when it merged with Eddie Brock to become Venom, his most popular enemy was born, but not his most dangerous. When Brock found himself sharing a cell with serial killer psychopath Cletus Cassidy, he wanted out fast. His alien partner came to the rescue, but left its child behind. It soon entered Cassidy's bloodstream, and just like that, Carnage was born. What was most horrifying about the murderous rampages that followed wasn't the villain's powers, but placing them in Cassidy's hands. It was the madman's belief that murder was the mark of true courage that made him a menace, meaning he's just as deadly without his suit. He was created to show what DC's Joker could do if given superpowers, and Carnage has yet to disappoint. Bullseye. Putting his skills with throwing projectiles to use as a baseball player, the pitcher who would become known as Bullseye found throwing a no-hitter too boring. Killing the batter with a ball to the head sent him on his path of murders for hire, and he became one of the deadliest assassins the Marvel Universe had ever seen. But becoming a soldier of fortune for villains like the Kingpin wasn't enough. Bullseye wanted fame as well. Bragging to New York's Daily Bugle about his many kills and the fact that he never misses put Daredevil on his tail, and the two have been at war ever since. If his mastery of martial arts, guns, and blades wasn't deadly enough, Bullseye can turn toothpicks, paper clips, and even his own teeth into lethal weapons. For the right price, of course. 
Arcade. Who says insanity and homicidal tendencies can't be profitable? The Marvel villain known as Arcade learned there's good money in killing. And as is usually the case, bigger is better. When the pampered young man was cut off by his wealthy father, he killed him and took the money for himself. Flush with cash and discovering his love of murder, Arcade became a globe-trotting assassin. But when the murder game became too boring, he hatched a different plan. He built his own death trap known as Murder World and dropped his targets into the fatal theme park to give them a fighting chance. But his one-of-a-kind humor and genuine thrill at seeing his victims attempt to escape made him a hit. He appeared alongside many of Marvel's most well-known heroes, even though that meant he racked up more failures than kills. Two-Face What's more tragic than seeing an embodiment of law and order flipped on its head, embracing crime, chaos, and violence instead? The answer is a man who can't even decide between the two. Every Batman fan knows the tragic story of Harvey Dent, once an upstanding district attorney who develops a split personality when half his face is burned with acid. Although the darker side of his character may be more than a little crazed, it still has access to Dent's brilliant intelligence and knowledge of Gotham's underworld. The result is Two-Face, a crime boss who sees every attack against Gotham as an opportunity. But what makes this villain truly dangerous is his signature coin, used to make nearly every decision facing his fractured mind. Sure, he may have become predictable over the years, but when the flip of a coin means Harvey Dent may help Batman save the day or commit an unspeakable act of violence, he becomes a villain unlike any other the Dark Knight has ever faced. Prometheus If there's one criminal in the world of DC Comics who is truly underrated, it has to be Prometheus. Raised by two criminals, the young boy traveled across America, learning the outlaw life until his parents were shot down by police. Just as Bruce Wayne dedicated his life to avenging his parents, Prometheus did the same, spending time in South American fighting pits, working as an African mercenary and as an international terrorist, Prometheus became a true student of crime and violence, eventually killing the cops who killed his parents and turning his finely tuned skills to bringing down the Justice League. He may have required some gadgets to get the job done, but an everyday criminal who can take down Batman, Green Lantern and Martian Manhunter deserves some respect. So what do you think of our list? Did we miss any of your favorite comic book crooks, killers and thieves? Let us know in our comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.